Welcome to another random adventure, San Jose Day 2023. Very randomly, I learned about a fun event called San Jose Day. It's an unofficial holiday to celebrate the art, culture, and city of San Jose, California. It takes place on April 4th, which on a calendar you could write it as 408, which is the main area code for San Jose. I learned about the event on the Thursday before, so I almost missed it, but I was able to spend a few hours to check it out. The event was held at the community center called the Mexican Heritage Plaza. This was very convenient because the facility is just down the street from my apartment. It is easily walkable and in fact made more sense to walk rather than drive and park. And I really enjoyed the event. I wish I had more time so I could have enjoyed it without having to do any filming. It had 8 live performances, over 50 local businesses participating, and an art gallery with over 50 artists, a classic car show, and food trucks. This was the fifth year of the event, so I wondered why I never heard of it before. The first year was in 2017, and if you do the math, that's more than five years. Of course, because of COVID, it did go virtual in 2020, and for 2021 and 2022, it went on hiatus. This year, 2023, was its first year back. I don't know how this year compares to past years, size, and crowds, but it seemed very healthy as an event and had a good crowd for the time that I was there. I'll have related links in the description, but I want to share some info in this video. Mainly I want to tell you about the organizers of this event. The top boss would be Haley Cardamon, executive producer and the founder of San Jose Day. She has her roots and career in working in nonprofits and working with the creative community in San Jose. Another notable effort was her time working with Back Magazine and Local Color. And of course, she was the founder of San Jose organization in 2017. We also have Alejandro Berber, also known as Alex Nobody, as the content manager, and he serves as the creative director of Better Than Good Enough. He has over 10 years working in the creative field. Another artist who helps is Jorge Jada Camacho. He's a mixed media artist who has works all over San Jose. Carmen Gaines is the grant successor partner and is the associate director of Local Color. Her main contributions are helping artists find opportunity to succeed. Patricia Stokes is an associate producer who works as a freelancer and is also the associate producer for web series San Jose is Not For Sale. Esther Young is the community events coordinator for School of Arts and Culture at the Mexican Heritage Plaza, so I think I have her to thank for having this year's event so close to my apartment. She is also a creative doing freelance writing and is also a singer-songwriter. The San Jose Day organization teamed up with another organization called Culture Night Markets as their vendor liaison. This organization started in response to COVID as a way of helping communities economically by pushing group economics and keeping streams of income in local communities and uplifting art and culture. The San Jose Day organization also has a arts and culture board. Zuri Lazar is a community events curator. She is also the founder of Intentional Affair, a community-centered creative event and an entertainment brand. She is currently working with Universal Grammar to help curate and produce live music. Her last project was co-producing Black to the Future Fest, a series of events in observance of Black History Month. Next, we have Ruben Escalante, director of Movimiento de Arte en Cultura Latinoamericana, also referred to as MACLA, and he's also the founder of Emo Kids of Color. He primarily works with kids, especially in underserved communities, and promotes art therapy. Mary Shi is a community educator. She's a patron of the arts with a passion for educating communities about reuse and renewable products. Brandon Ruse is an arts journalist. He has worked on several stories in the South Bay and is a community advocate for the arts. He is also a musician who has performed in San Jose. Alyssa Arhe Graciano is an artist, author, and curator. She is a textile artist. She writes for Content Magazine and has worked at many artistic organizations in the South Bay, including MACLA. The final member of the Art and Culture Board sees the return of Jorge Jada Camacho doing double duties. For the rest of this series, I'll be doing the videos with minimal commentary. It's a community event, so I think what's on screen would be self-explanatory and speak for itself. I'll add my comments when necessary and include related links to the artists and businesses when I can. So enjoy this series celebrating the communities, businesses, and artists of San Jose, California. And until the next random adventure, take care.